Hello my friends, I'm Clover and today we're solving Rebel Diamonds by Philip Newman. This was originally posted in GAS on June 23rd, 2024. So this is a Renban little killer Sudoku. So we have standard Sudoku rules, so we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outlined 3 by 3 region. Then there are also some arrows outside of the grid indicating diagonals, and those arrows tell you that the sum of the digits along the diagonal, so for instance the sum of these four digits, equals whatever value is next to the diagonally indicating arrow. So for instance the sum of those four digits is 30. And then finally, these kind of light purple lines or Renban lines, those tell you that um, the digits along the line have to be a consecutive set that can appear in any order. So 1, 2, 3 is an example, or so is 2, 1, 3, or also 4, 5, 6, 7, or 7, 4, 6, 5. So any possible ordering, as long as it's a set of consecutive digits that don't repeat. And that is where we're going to start. Because if you notice in this puzzle, all of these little killers also overlap fully with a run band line. So what we need to do is find a set of consecutive digits that sums to each of these clue values. So 3 is probably the most straightforward one to start with. 3 is 1 plus 2. 18, and I, I kind of did these when I was first testing this by trial and error. There are mathematical ways you can do it. For example, one thing you could do is you could take the length of this line, which in this case is 3, and divide the clue value by it, and that would give you the middle number. So 18 over 3 is 6, therefore the middle number on this one is going to be 6, that'll be 5, 6, 7. I kind of trial and errored it um, just by experimentation <laughs> and said something like, well, 4 plus 5 plus 6 is too small, that's only 15, so it must be 5 plus 6 plus 7, and that works too. So however you get there, 30 is 6, 7, 8, and 9. So that makes this an 8, 9 pair, and we can eliminate 8, 9 from those cells, and then these are going to be a 3, 4 pair. 5 is 2 plus 3, 15 is 4 plus 5 plus 6, 26 is 5 plus 6 plus 7 plus 8, and then again, you're not expected to just know these off, of the, just off the top of your head. Um, I just kind of happen to have them in my head right now because I tested this fairly recently, and so it kind of stuck in my head which little killer clues are made up of which digit combinations. But you can also kind of work these out on the fly as you're solving the puzzle. So 7 is 3 plus 4, 24 is 7, 8, and 9, 26 is 5, 6, 7, and 8, and I eliminate 7 and 8 from there and 5 and 6 from here. 14 is 2, 3, 4, and 5. 21 is 6, 7, and 8. And 9 is 4 and 5, which eliminates 4 and 5 from here. And then I'm also going to, just for completeness sake, pencil in my last pairs of digits. And so now we have everything down to by values and try values. And we can approach this using Sudoku techniques. So we have a 5 here. That makes this a 6 and a 5, and eliminates 6 from there and eliminates 5 from here. There's a 5 and 6 in the row, so that's going to be a 4, 6, and 5. The 4 gives me a 3 and a 4. Okay. And I don't think I get anything else immediately out of that, so let's keep moving. So this 5 here eliminates 5 from there, this 5 eliminates 5, so that cell is going to contain a 5. That 5 makes this 4 and 5 in this order, this 4 makes this a 3, the 3 makes this a 2, and the 2 makes this cell a 1. And again, I don't think, oh, I can actually get one more thing out of this, so that 1 gives me a 9 and a 1, and the 9 is going to eliminate 9 from there. This 5 tells me which way those 5 and 6 go, this 6 is going to resolve this 6, 7, which in turn is going to resolve this 6, 7. Eliminate 7 from here. I have a 6 and 7 in this row. That makes that an 8. That's now a 4 and a 5. The 8 gives me a 6 and a 7 in that order. 7 eliminates 7 from there. 8 eliminates 8 from here, which resolves this. And do I get the 1, 2 there? Not necessarily. Okay, so I have a 1, 2 pair here, and so there's a 1, 2 pair in the row. There's a 1, 9 pair in this row. My last digit in this column is going to be an 8, and my last options in this column will be 1, 2, 8, and 9. Okay. 
So where to next? I have a 1 here, which gives me a 2 and a 1, which resolves this 2 and 3. Nice, and that 1 resolves this 1 and 9. That's now a 1. And that makes this cell a 2, and makes that cell a 2. And finally, I have an 8 in this row, which gives me a 7 and an 8. And that 8 gives me an 8 and a 9. So now we have resolved all of our by values and try values, and we really just have to finish using classic Sudoku. So here we need a 3 and a 9 to finish the row. Those go in that order because of the 9 here. Here we need a 3 and a 9 to finish this row. Those go in that order. Um, to finish this region, I'm going to need a 1, 4, and 7. 1 can't go in those cells, so it goes there. 4 can't go there. And to finish this region, I'm going to need a 2, a 6, and an 8. 2 can't go here, 6, six can't go here, and 8 can't go here. I'll resolve the rest of that later. To finish this column, I'm going to need a 1, a 3, and an 8. And to finish this region now, I will need a 4, a 6, and a 9. There's a 6 and 9 in this row already, so that is taken care of. Here, I need a 1, a 4, and a 9, so that's a 1. And I need a 2, 3, and 7 here. Perfect. That can't be a 1 either, so my 1 in this region goes there. These will be 2, 3, 7, and 8. 7 and 8 are already present in this column. This must be either 3 or 6 in this column. And now what I'm scanning for is any instances where I have, for example, like a hidden digit where I have the same digit represented in all of these regions. I do see that I have ones here, but because one is already in the central region, that doesn't really help me out that much. I also have fives, so that's going to be useful. So I have fives in all of these cells. So combined, five sees every cell in the central region except this one. So that's where we're going to place our five. In this column, I need a two, a four, and an eight. That's not a two. And in this column, I can eliminate two and three from there. I need six and eight. So now the only position for seven in this column is going to be here. That gives me a two, three pair which gives me an 8 and a 3, 2 and a 3 there, and that's not a 2, the 4, 8 pair, I now have a 6, and I think that's enough to resolve everything, hopefully. What am I missing here? Aha, there's a 6 in this row. Perfect, and that is how you solve Philip Newman's Rebel Diamonds. Hope you enjoyed that, and if you'd like to give it a try yourself, the link to solve is in the description of this video down below. I will see you next time.